It's Cleaver Talk! Um, I also just think, like, it just looks good. It just looks good. Everything makes sense on their draft, and we're gonna learn the lessons from game one. It was very quickly. Like, very quickly, what? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm going to predict. <laughs> Join me. Join me. Just, just say, you're gonna win. I, yeah, they can take this draft out, right? I think strong. Prepare for battle. We shall be. Let's jump into game number two with John X Fire and MLB. Thank you so much, Nomad. We do get into it. Game number two Steak versus Poke. John, I, I was talking badly about the Earth because I'm an Earth Spring <laughs> John. You know, I, I love this hero. Yeah. I still, I just want to add this. You I still have the Poke the of the 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 I, Even if I don't necessarily agree with the car. I'm just gonna go based off the performance of our Slark last game, our drone this game. <laughs> and I'm just get fixed up, John. I'm not feeling confident. And might I add, I am an axe spammer myself. I love seeing axe. I think it's gonna be very strong against the void in laning state. The problem is, is this hero drops off real darn quick if you don't hit all your targets. Yeah, that's the main issue as well with Mystique's draft. It's very tempo based. Their last trap is a little bit more That's forgiving like and scaling. You. This That's one is not. not. So if you play the same style as they did last time, you're not going to mind at all. You're just going to scale up and you're going to scale up in the void. You've got Kiss's Chrono combination coming out. You've got the core snap bar up against Tusk, which melee versus snap always is good. Tusk might complicate that and just fall. But it's not something that you lose out right and you can be played with as the as a snap bar here. And Pork sets themselves up nicely as well. They can tree bounce things for themselves. Got a stall and start. You're seeing Aaron get chased down. Already having a rough time. It's, he's up against Undying. One decay, lose HP and damage. You can't trade back. It feels pretty loud. So, you know, you're your boy, Ritz Grip, man. Not gonna feel too good in this lane fight. No, I mean, he needs the food. Uh, Lizard already said this, you just need to keep pulling the wave. That's all you can do. And if you don't pull the wave, Killer's gonna have a hell of a bad time. I mean, this Growl Undying combo is so disgustingly hard to play again. Let alone having two melee heroes down the bot lane for Pope. It's gonna feel literally impossible. And if he's doing the right thing, he's just forcing the doom out of the lane. Everyone's gonna try and pull the wave now. But that's the thing, can you move it and set the equilibrium your way consistently throughout this laning phase? Because it's really not that easy. Everyone's gonna have to try and avoid the Undying as well. Can't be a lot of harassment that comes in from me. In fact, I'm gonna go for a double pull, I think. Which is probably the smarter play to make it even better work with it. Let's see if he can, though. There's another pull happening here from Ray as well. Aaron, he's trying for the skin, he should be able to get it. Eventually, he will, but Ray again is pulling up the wave over. So it's all about the equilibrium here, Jonathan. And it seems like now Aaron should be just fine. But Ray's gonna be super annoying about it. Yeah, he's, he's making it a lot tougher. Yeah, I slid a bit here. You already have a lot of bottom damage out on the He's just leaving the Drow alone Radiant's with Doom. You have a second time attack. melting true. Playing with a frost tower, pulling out the Doom. And back and forth. We'll see in a couple of waves if they manage to maintain it. I think now it's just gonna be fairly static unless someone out completely just outsteps your balance. You have a lot of mangoes on raids to just enable yourself to play this plane as well. And more can see how well mid goes for zone and B so far. V is having a little bit of a better time than to be expected for the snap fire and it's not lane match of that Tusk just absolutely dominates for the most part. Snap does have some counter play there as well. They are getting aggressive up top as well. NJ is not the happiest. Your Acklin is also off to a bit of a slower time. Goes back to the build to Lon He does have level 2 time dilation. I mean, he's at level 2 wind time dilation. You know, every time the Act snaps out Battle Hunger, you see a Rubik come in with his belt. Time dilation, you're not under any threat here. Right. That's probably the final game. Play it, you know you're not going to be able to actually kill the Axis laning phase. Please with the Bash. It's out of the game. It's not. I certainly agree that is the way to play this laning phase. And still probably can find fun on the act anyway. It is to be expected. He does have the hero advantage in this matchup. But it's kind of expected that he does win out the uh win out the lane. Radiant's and courier has been killed. Well mid lane, you you're kind of talking about a brief piece zone against speed here on the stat line. But it's Musk match. Is under it seems like Musk is just one of those heroes right now, or it doesn't really lose. It doesn't lose, but it's not really beating out the snap or rider. 
I think for V, there's some pretty good counterplay. It's, it's not like you can easily line up your kisses play. Six against us. It does have to say and kind of interrupt. Not going to be lined up that you can kill on the matchup, but still have some good things to play with. And it's really your patience out. And I'm keen to see if that's something prioritized here. I'll say this bottom lane is going decently well for both. They've been doing the exact right thing. Constant pulls happening. My surprise is that large camp wasn't blocked off down the lane. It's the actually less than much without, without a sentry ward, so if they are able to kind of yank the three play both of still gonna farm here and they're gonna go for the poor camp, but it's really intriguing the large camp never got caught. Because in a lane like this, that's what you do wanna do is make sure you nullify these four that are happening. Oh, get away with it. And uh, please hold the toy ring back your way. Get some decent EXP coming out for Killa. He's having a bit of a slower time farming up the Doom. We've got the Vowel Mate Log. And we just kind of want to wait as a ring right Pretty aggressive up top here is Paul NG. So, there's that. Get the counter. What's he going? Cut the free player himself. He's also kind of holding off the farm here from Blonde Power, at least. And it's one thing, creating farm is the Drow versus the Void. Drow can't farm a lot faster early on. He is about to. Not the professional coach, what's going on? Being called out, they get the kill. That is, that's a big problem. That is a big, big problem here for Mystique. You can't have that happen. Not with the lane up. Find the angle in, they're at the point where you are doing a lot of damage out on Killa. And he has the Hurl Boulder. Little Golems. It's nope. a nice stun to line up, follow through or set up for the roll in. It's kind of fun from there. And that does give it a little bit of a pop. Uh, I'm surprised mm, comes into the zone though. I was about to say the same thing. Actually, the Drown can come through to fill up the portal. Oh, oh. Like, of course, it wasn't good at that breaking down, but NJ is fine. In fact, never yeah. mind, he rotates. Oh, get away. Oh, that's, that's something you don't get to see real. He's still going. Aaron just rolls in, try and help him out and get some form of a trade, but he's going to be his right. own life away. That's, oh. a, that's okay. a very unique interaction. Uh, you pointed it out, like, why is this Drown going mid to the portal? But he finds a double kill. Dire structures yep. are fortified. Works out. I mean, you know, last time around mm, with just farming up like a madman, now he's rotating it six minutes in as a drought. <laughs> so maybe it's just a complete and very strong reaction from game one. But that, that is something they need on this. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. For a kid play they don't have them use this trick anymore. Scatter the land. Scatter blast up in one zone. Still running. Barely gonna survive. The fade board, I believe, taking enough nice. damage away from me to ensure that the pass doesn't die. Meanwhile, bottom lane, a chase is on him. It's a killer's the one that's gone a bit too far, and he will get punished. Down to the death of the like, maybe just a little bit overconfident hitting that level 5 mark, but he does still up against the dying drow. That took some gets triggered in big trouble. Yeah, and it's still going to be down very quickly. And Mystique is finding this early aggression quite nicely. Um, they are camping back, farming up. Um, mm. So I should see you again if there's any sort of rotations. So we'll want to do with a wide roll. Oh, yeah, they won't have the follow up. I think this mobile was still there. Mm -hmm. It's a cast off. There is another roll in on five if they want to keep this going, but instead they are going to chase Ray down. Should be a. The undying, so he can decay again, but only one that time. But killer does not want to die. The smash is not going to connect either. Temporary, but not quite enough. Good lane, there was a bit of action onto V, but he's going to be able to put the the sharp and be just fine. Back towards that Ray, trying to get a little bit groovy going towards it. Chuck is going to get punished for it. Ran through down. It will take him down. And I, I believe our line was either trying to get to D Wood, D Wolves off, or the Vimes to a T2 tower. Sadly, neither one works out. Big thing for focus that they really shoved in the way. And walking back to this high ground air. Rotations at mid. Radiant's middle tower. Task there. is there to back them up as well. Sneak back into the T1 tower, but it doesn't get within range. Are they going to survive? And Sadly for V, he was a couple seconds off having kisses up and ready. They're 
fuck up again with those kids is available. Radiance bottom tower Nobody down attack. the bottom side of the map. And as you can see right now, these kids are going to enjoy themselves a lot of farm here on the NJ. This is the next stream right here. Have a great lane. Have a bunch of stats to go back to. So it's going to have a very, very fast big dagger timing at this rate. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And the lane attack. back to pick from Steve Hicks. Happy here. They're getting a lot of value out. I mean, Lanfer is farming kill. He is going Mark as well. Mark and Mark is avoiding. Of course, you're going Mark on you. So. The long con for Poe. Whether or not Mystique actually allows you to play that long con is a Radiant's different question. Is under attack. You're much more willing to rotate. Uh, Drow rotation six feet. You can't get over. Mount it's a uh, no, unique. He, he didn't have a play again right now. Uh, this Drow, he's not farming the best at the moment, but. He's rotating, like you said, very good style of gameplay here from our Drow Ranger. I think the thing is though, like, throughout the mid-game, like, half, let's say, 12 minute mark, you're not kind of relying on your axe to make all the space here, and speaking of that act, NJ is now level 9 with Blink Vanguard up. Nine and a half minutes. That is extremely far. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Right now, it's his axe, but he's not gonna make move in. No. The Dyer's top it's tower cool. is under attack. Let me walk through for a moment. It doesn't bother for the call. Well, this is the thing, right? Like, last game around, we made the comment that uh, that move was a bit too slow on the start. Caught it to do the same thing. DQQ now gets caught up. That's gonna be enough. Rotations are in company. DQQ barely alive. Does get the soul ripped off and is gonna survive. As it is the one to go down. Radiance middle tower. Rotation from engine. Dyer's top tower show is under attack. Rubik gets a kill off from mm. inside of oh, trying to just ruin their really aggressive support without any of the chorus. It is something that this lineup is gonna struggle a little bit with. You don't have the best forest to revert to. Your void is gonna farm, your dude is definitely gonna farm. Snap can not join in, but when kisses are down, you're not really lucky to make a play on B, at least maybe not until you get the shard up. So you have to kind of keep yourself around your snap bars rather long down, at least a relation to game. Once the axe is up on your snap fighter, there are some keen combinations here. Uh, gobble up Doom, gobble up Void can be great. I guess you could gobble up Eren as well and then have him roll in. Could be funny, but not really ideal. A lot of initiations come out here from both. I worry that if Mystique allows his time to go undisturbed, this is Dyer's top tower is under them attack. To counter fight into Dyer's all in on engine. I don't think his cards right to counter initiate in that circumstance. Once you have fell up on axe, that's when you can pretty much Dyer's solo kill anyone from the map. He's for a certain amount of time, and you see he probably will be hunting down Lundfer on the void once he does have the blade mail up. Poke up though from Poke, looks like Lundfer is going to join his team for this. Ray is in position to break the smoke and protect attack. the bot lane, which is currently occupied by the mm, last rotation around the poke that wants to focus on D. He's got the vision. He'll move it instead of undying, so Ray will get caught out, but he does a very good job of thinking the game here for his drown. He does push hey. one back towards his own prime. Not the attack. biggest loss whatsoever here inside of the city. And you don't mind it. Dyer's middle tower still is under out. attack. Still a lot to go on. For him to feel comfy. This is still a good kill to pick up for V. Any kill he can get to rush the tags is always a welcome, uh, a welcome thing to have. And they're, top tower and they're still farming attack. pretty uncontested off the Doom and the Faces Void anyway. Like this double Midas has still not really been punished. You've talked about this axe time here, Mike. Blade is flying out. Some NJ has attack. got to go hunt. Got to go for this two, uh, three, four man smoke with a toss. And just. Not gonna land it still, they will land the Doom off. Oh, this is really, really tough. Because this is the time if you want it. You need the blade man out on the courier, and then you run them. But now they take down the axe. His time, I mean, while he still has the blade mail, it's he's gonna have to wait them 25 seconds to move. And I have a feeling Pope know the blade mail is gonna jump. Yeah, um, they've left the axe alone long enough. No. Nah, he's. 
it, it got to be effective. I think that kill, it's, it's good, cool. but that's doomed down. At least that's Kisses down. That's an opportunity for the stacks to just look into the Without worrying about this counterplay from these two cores. Longford is probably not going to show up in the defensive chrono, at least here. And you do have the full ags of the B. There's some gobble up plays that can happen here. But they will go for that team play. Gonna be broken oh, by Rob. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but uh, this is not worth it, in my opinion. You jump. Like, he leaps right into the smoke. I believe he actually knew there was smoke, and he just forced to break it, and not get anywhere near Lon Fur in the void. Yeah, and you're more than happy. You're not getting it. Your faces void. Get down if you're not going to be punished. This one time for poke while kisses her down as well. It's just Dyer's it's all out of this bigger engagement. Mystique. They might be able to find us in a tier one. Their push isn't Can the fastest be? without the drown. And if I'm drown, oh, the devil, yeah, the drown does end up dying. And again, that's that's quite a point of you don't, You're relying on the drown layer on. Like, it's Dyer's not like this axe is going to go all the way to the, the 40 50 minute mark and be effective. No. It just doesn't scale as well. I mean, theoretically, you can scale with a lot of armor and your battle hunger damage is scaling, but. So it's a lot harder to back that up. If you get like ten Babylon, always tall tower sure, yeah. under attack. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's in. Yeah. He's setting up perfectly. As in mid tusk is getting destroyed here by Aaron setup. And the pretty big concern here for losing the drought and now they're mid tusk. Okay, now it's still just freaking really crazy. Just allowed to farm up. Like longer. For the male serpent to has not been involved at all. He's kind of he's kind of cosplaying as two from game one. He's a pieces for it. <laughs> like he's he's, uh, he's gonna be scaling really well. And for Mystique, it's just a matter of time. Your axe is strong, your bust is enough, although not as the strong as the jungle has everything as as desire. But this feels set the best window for Mystique. Maybe for one more item to come out here on your toss, it's really feel cool, but at that point, you can't. So the BKBs are starting to flow in. Your form is just constantly up there. Your guy's still mm -hmm. slightly behind. Mind you, you're not going to have a long figure. And he does find himself a stun of fire, but the help is right behind. Still, the snowball is in, so I'm going to try and set up, but they've got Eric instead. Eric, he's going to jump out. He rolls right away as they've got the axe held down again. MJ is still surviving. Meanwhile, the Tusk has been doomed up. Eren does drop for this. They found a great good move. MJ, he does at least get a clean blade off the Marana. It doesn't seem like Luke can really deal with the damage output, but no, they can. But he's got plenty of burst. With the cookie into the scatter blast. Oh, it's such a tough fight. I mean, yeah. you catch the, the Snapfire, but Eggball does nothing, John. The Snapfire. She doesn't write that hard. It, it's down Dyer's to how these top tower is under cold. attack. Most of your control is from the axe and the toss. In comparison to what you do have on poke, you've got Chrono, you've got Zoom, you've got double up saves and plays, you've got cookie to play with, you've got the roll and the arrow. You have so much more setup. Coming up to poke for Mystique, it's not quite the same. You blink in and hit hard on the axe, you have to be able to follow up. Toss is also oh, all in right now, with no BKB. So it, it's just not the same way of engaging. It's much more kickoff-ish on the side of Mystique, or just big calls with this. Easy. It's a f***. Oh, 7-9. Ninja's about to explode. I would be so mad right now. He's in a spam bar. I would be so mad. He's gone again. Oh, this is fantastic <laughs> gameplay. They do this kill in the meantime. But this is really fantastic because the act was the saving grace of this game. And he's just got no game left. Yeah, that's her. You should pull it off now. He's going for a DP. He might be off. Arjun, they did pretty good charge. Nice catch. He's doing perfectly. This up for Aaron. Playing very well with his team. The tower is under attack. As I said, I think this one really matters, right? Like, cause you have the time, yes. <laughs> and everything just went wrong as soon as you got that play ball. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go for a smoke play broken by Ranfu. Okay. Get one pop on Z, this piecing from the side of Hope is just a discipline. They're getting themselves out in a good spot. I'm sure they're not caught by multiple faults. Now the fine Marana, not the biggest kill in the world. And still something to help to accelerate this BKB for zone. Really important. It's just this game's get not these BKBs, they don't feel amazing. ครับเซตอัพกอบลาฟิซอลมาเรย์ดิสโอเคนาวบอดี้คัมส์คิลเลอร์ทรอนิ่งออฟฟาโตเอนจิกวิดเอ็มเวอร์ยไนท์ฟ
in terms of holding back Dyer, since this is getting a lot of output from yourself, especially the and not. Well, it does feel like this game has boiled down to execution though. And we've seen great moments from both sides. It's all just who gets to be more consistent in making this play. Sean's open. My shadow pop. Oh. Immediately out with the keyboards on the high ground, they know exactly where Mystique are. Because can they catch them? Counter smoke now activated. Mind Chrono is available with the kisses who could be a terrible team fight for Mystique if they do get caught out. To end the game, they should be shot. Shona does get caught out. Go for the ball immediately, but they do have the back of here for the Doom. It's not for this game. They say, oh, this game, Jay is gone immediately. This is not the team fight that they wanted. Lung first look for the drought, but can't find her yet. It's the up the round, the undying. Meanwhile, Doom's been stolen. They'll throw it back on the filler. Gus will land onto the void. He could pop Chrono in time. It's passed him down, but Aaron, he's going to save him. Buy a bit of time at the score. Hit that as he's long for He's forced the chrono off. It's on the crowd. It's over the drought. So is for trying, but it's not going to be enough. It was so close to being a turnaround team fight here for Mystique. But not quite enough as Poke able to win it out. That's going to be more cold on the back way of the dire. It's just what we were talking about earlier. Like, you come in as the axe, you don't have a follow through. The back initiation's just That's dead. Out. We saw the zone try to back him up. He gets the BKB off, but gets doomed up. And, and there's there's just no play. Like, you don't have that same combination that Poke has with, say, just jumping in, getting the kisses off, yeah. having this chrono combination on hand. They don't even need to connect with those spells there. And it, it just becomes a mess. TQ does get this Doom off, but at that point you're already done with your job on on your Doom on Killa. So you already launched Doom anyway. You was zoned out zone for too long that just couldn't move the counter earlier. The really unfortunate part about Zone's initiation as well is I believe he was going for a snowball play to try and buy the axe and pine, but he got cookie stunned. Like it was perfect, it was perfect timing. He linked in and got cookie stunned immediately. Really, really rough. With that, well, see, they're still gonna try for Ocean. Try and sneak this one away. Then Chrono and Kisses are up. Kisses are up in one. So that's now available. No Doom for Chrono. And of course, this is rather unexpected to just go after Ocean up moving big, big team fight like that. And it seems like they're gonna get away with it. No contest. Not quite around with Ron Fugel, he's probably the best scouting tool of the arrow. Greedy going to be First rush out of the game, secondary will end up on. Hmm? What I need to see now from Mystique is doing some. Take some objectives, take a tier two. Try to avoid the map to be smaller. Jump. Kill off. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, he still has something to get him to DQ2, yet he still has the gobble up play. The gobble up play is out, and that should buy enough time. Bunker and Eric get the chase down all by DQ2. There is something coming, but Zone may be just going to wipe away. Regeneration! He can't move her off rather soon. Unable to find a trade, though. NJ! NJ shows up again. Lunfer has Krennel with five seconds. NJ, very confident at this top lane. Does have his team now behind him. They've got the drow. They'll even lose the undying. All for the price of one. All can't the do because he did buy back on her. Another pretty poor team fight here to see. I must I'm just surprised they didn't back off. They had their pants. I'm surprised. Yep, they 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 shouldn't blame they knew that the response is coming at you. Oh god, it's gone to it. And NG just plays more content. Just something that they have got to blink, you can snowball save, and the call goes wrong. Try to back up and reset. You're baking it in these 15 by 12. Radiant's top tower has fallen. That move out from Killa 
onto NJ just ruined any prospects of count play. And just having the chrono off cooldown as well. Timer is in there. It, it, it shouldn't have been long enough for him to come back in. And poker executing so much better. Remember, Mike, it's like what I said earlier. This match looks like it's all about execution. Because we've seen some shining moments from his team, but we've seen much more discipline coming out from Poke. Much greater understanding as to what they have to do. You're hitting these level spikes now as well, Mike, where the V is about Dive. to hit level 20 oh, and he has the Chrysalis up. He's going for the Daedalus. It's level 20. You can have even more damage to throw an out of pistols. You're not going to be constrained. At least the fine earned them. It's the Culling Blade once again. Yeah. Really off the damage. Very cool they needed. So, I want to run it up. If it's NJ, meanwhile, kill it. I mean, I mean, I rather, so, excuse me, kill the one to secure the kill. I'm chasing down. Yeah. V has his level 20, my favorite timing on the core snap. He went for all the right side cons as well, so it's all in on that little scaling snap bar, which is good to see because you've got the point. Scale up. You've got that chrono to help you block in this target. And again, Charlie blocks on the target. That's the target you wanted this long time, but he can't get it off. He can't get the coin made. It was still on cooldown. Oh no! <laughs> 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 he pissed just a moment ago. Up at top lane, so he didn't have it. Yeah. yeah. That he's been target his whole game. He's been looking for this void. Radiant and the one scans. time he gets him, he doesn't have a common blade. No. They really did save this ball coming out from him. Uh, he, he manages to get the gobble up in the middle, so prevent a little bit more coming out from the axe. This tap buying long for the space to just get time walk back. And you see the issues with that thing. It's a fast thing. If the axe jumps in and gets back up, it's just one game to have that impact. They've got to think here on Mystique, but they're looking much more cohesive. Then Mystique is at the moment. And Radiance Middle Town is under so attack. Each other. They're at BKB now for Eren. Still a full charge left up and running. Full guard and Greaves for Aku. Bursting here down to a lot tougher here as well. The minions. The two bottom tower now going to be under siege. Radiance bottom tower is under very, attack. Very, very, very tough for this. Radiance structures are fortified. Bringing more heroes. Stop this if you are mistaken. You just got to allow Poke to take this T2 tower down. The token must top be very defensive now. Attack. They're actually going to leave it for now. There's going to be one sticky rotation from zone. Everyone else is missing off the map here from the state, so they're being extremely cautious. The guy is going to the slope onto the Undying and make the spin immediately. So we not going to help out too much. Ray should die on the Undying. He will do so. Me all NJ. He went for core, but he's only got the arrows of the chase is on now. For that axe, it will be going to be up at the two design immediately. There are going to be no chance for this max or are they? He still runs with a roll on target. Aaron didn't make sure he sets up her. He is not going to try and move in, but he's been called out now with the cobble on play. This is not what they wanted. Oh, they even pulled back. There's a nice call on the backside. They caught the task, but that's all they're behind right now. Lundfell's going for the man fight, and he's got it. Zone. Zone at least able to take down the void. So it looks like a mistake. Did you successfully turn this team fight around by just dragging it out as long as humanly possible? But it does cost them a buyback and a dieback. Yeah, it's it's still a, a tree for tree trade, but you can't just find these two big portals. And for one big counterplay, buyback on this now. You have a lot more to give. Give an Give an angle for long for it to get this big crow off this floor. So just ideal circumstances for Poke to see. To get a pretty good fight. He's playing with fire here though. Illusion! The same here for Zone. So, um, the arrow is could move in now on the ground. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. We have the damage yet. Noble Up's gonna be as well. Definitely scare off the side of Mystique. We don't want to 
play into that if you can avoid it. I really appreciate the fact that he can put the tower on the roof. <laughs> and just farm. Take it eventually. It's good. It... Yeah. The prize is mine. I think it can root. No. Creep skill this far. Yeah, no. So I can see that fucking out in the gates. Very nice. And code interaction. Oh, this please is Okay. Literally the great game is just that right there. Yeah. I mean, he's trying to get some kind of ability, but he can't. No. Nah. A bit sad, but he, like a free acronym scepter, almost. <laughs> you could have ever run over Not by the time you want to start with it, he gets the roll away. The corpse still left, it won't matter. But now, Pokemon want to try and cross this fight. MJ wants to BKB himself. It's a duel. Do they want to keep this up? So he's thinking about it. This is the nice with the way still. Goes on the two. He is completely on his own help, but where's the backup? There's your Chrono, but they have not caught the drown. They have not caught the drown. That Chrono, Lumper is still trying. He won't have the follow up temp, and that does mean Poop needs to run. This is not the finding long one. To catch out, run Poop down. Kill find another. Radiance top the stick. He would have found Poop for nothing. It's very conservative gameplay from Poop to not jump in earlier. They kind of just mess it up. It seems like Kilo was just on the wrong page. Dyer are scanning. John and not was he copy DQ to get caught out all that control. And I hats off here to DQ. He's been playing fantastic on the slip. Except saved him multiple times on the side. And then able to engage every single Dyer's time. Middle tower is under so attack. Oh, they have to watch himself this one by one. They'll have a lot to they can still take these higher ground fights. Mystique are finding a way back into the game that feels like it shouldn't be Dyer's possible at this point. 35 minutes to end up getting these eight cores, and they're still managing to make some plays. This time it's both of just kind of. Dyer's middle tower there. is under attack. Yeah, he is. That one thing, like, Lunther, he needs a, he needs to see the drought from the chrono, and that's what he's waiting for every time. If you catch the drought, you just cannot fly this chrono up. It's one thing to find the two-man chrono, it's another thing to find the right targets. Well, there's the Aghanim Scepter now up on MJ. So you've got this, uh, this axe Shadows available. Obviously, the, the minus armor with the battle on the door is very nice. Especially when you consider the fact that Zerka's going to apply battle hunger to every week. Or... And as well as that, John, the cooldown reduction doesn't hurt ever. Like, any seconds of cooldown is always good. Yeah, look, Dyer's top tower is you under call, attack. You have more armor on yourself, and you're taking away armor from the team. That means your reflex damage is amplified. And you, this void, it's not like build armor right since this is void either. You're just relying on your stats. Now. Reflect damage from the blade mill is going to hurt twice as much here. Feel pretty hard, pretty awkward match to get caught in that for long fur. NJ. If he does get a big call, that, that turns the... are scanning. You can easily lock two of these melee cores and go from there. For Poke, they have to avoid getting themselves in that situation. Use Eren, Ron Fu as bait, have them copy and so jump in and just try to clean up afterwards. Dyer's middle tower is right. under attack. That's going to be the next one. I'll take that. Alright, Ron. Korea there for Lunfer to find. Radiant's current has been killed, killed but no matter, it's still gonna die. Radiant's top tower DQ is under attack. He didn't buy anything on it, so I don't really lose Dyer's much middle out of that. Is under attack. Oh, Roshan slapped there by our boy, but right home about it. Just playing with the time warp for reverse time warp. If you want to see that, you can play that with Steve. You're not gonna like this go for free. I would say that. Poke definitely has a strong Roshan kit kind of team fight available in their draft, but he's well still up against the Echo that as well. So he can still be very scary to play Dyer's middle tower is under attack. The tower. They're lining up here, they know they can't do that. Oh, they're on his own. No. He can be up. We'll just get more response to the draft. Still on his own. He's gonna try and TP the love of his walk away. He won't rain, he's been 
to kill my pillar, but that's gonna be the first DKB duration of the Gone on killer for this. Meanwhile, Chrono not gonna be expendable. You do force NJ's own BKBs. He puts down the error. Call is out. Caught the void. Bandit has back up the mud. They've all gotten out of there. Still looking for the drill. Oh, he's blood third. And he can't find it. On his own, they go instead. There's another two mount hit from Killer. Great bubble up. They're catching up for Rubik as well. Ward down for the side of Mystique. Oh, and on her. He was so close to finding that Drow Ranger, but not close enough. And find a Roshan in my counterplay for the Drow solo for sure. Maybe a big objective for this game. It's not been taking too long to mop this either. It's not a whole people that's to fun. It's gonna fall. Free shard. Aegis to boot. Um, it's a pretty crush game. And for the side of. We're seeing the same as right? You just jump in on your app. Before it connects and you don't find follow up, and then it's not enough. This time around, it's Poke that manages to set up an awkward angle from the steep, just coming in from behind, from almost like the low ground during the jungle. That area. Not something you see ready for. And in 60k speed, you're going to have once this snap bar hits level 25 challenge, you might like, you hit the tree man chrono, you get a little strong. These heroes are they're just dead. Nothing else. Oh, I'm shot. And Jay? Oh, he's gonna find me. This is cool rather than the calling trade again. The text is on then. I think they may have given his own little way to this. He was incoming to try and help out, but he is just trapped up in bed. Get in for blitz in time. He said, going on to kill the killer, just gonna happily pump back in on the roof because one of them, he is kind of overly the undying. Nice for but for looking for mm, or rather a blink away. He will force up away from blood further than Jesus on. He didn't want that drought so darn bad. Still the Shadow Blade allowing him the time with the Manta to walk away from this. There's love for now, the one that needs to back off. Eric does get trapped in shards, but he's okay to roll out of it. Very messy engagements between these two teams. But it's still an overall win for the side of Pope. And force the buy back out from NJ. And she get back. You can hold the reset. Wait for your snap bar to back up and running. Just wait for cooldowns to back up. Wait for, wait for the next chrono. Wait for the next doom. For the side of Mystique. It, this attack on NJ like, might be under pressure to mix some attack. But just gotta sit back and relax. You can't afford to lose your ass now. If NJ dies now, gets a dieback, it's just straight up right now. That's a lot of the team fighting in way. Alone, doesn't feel like he's gonna be up just yet. It doesn't even have anything like its ass been running to at least get a kickback to stall out his fights as well. It's it's really the axe that sets the tempo here. You got to be able to jump. refresh. Up on long double double Allies, go. even a hex out here on around it's massive when this axe comes in hex out that that just ruins your initiation that could be NJ looking at the dieback he's not careful as well as, as, well as the drought Radiant right like get the hex off you're not going to be able to allow her to blink away or to pull stuff away every single time and divide and pick up safer both been another refresh or not Oscar. available on killers to double refresh up or rather double dream is up. Gary skipped three times. Stig there trying to wrap around with his smoke rotation. Dyer's they're gonna find out they're in the range again triangle somewhere. The problem is with these out of time he's using all the fun right now on Stig. They're trying to jump in on the script. He has back up right there to heal him up. Still alive for now. There are he will finally go down. Meanwhile, back to the NJ. He does catch out B, but B gets the BKB off and is Radiance able to walk away at least for now attack. for a little bit longer as long term. Uh, he's still looking for this Drow Ranger. He can't quite find him, but the Light like Shadow was taken. The Stig there running away with a Lumper again on the chase. The drought is still looking around, goes for the refresher or the out of time war, I'll but never that. gets the chrono off. Meanwhile, zone does not come B. He can shoot the bench to get caught out on the roof. They do kind of support for their trouble, but it's a two for one trade in favor of the And it, again, John, the refresher orb was popped by Lundberg because he needed some more time war, but he doesn't even catch the drought. Good one for it. And Killa, after refresh. So you don't have double, you don't have double chrono, you don't have double DPBs for the next engagement. Massive opening for Mystique. Get a 
now, catch someone off guard. Oh, and that lead him to high ground immediately. No rope shot plays. Only he just is still up and running for a little bit longer for Von Fur. Doesn't feel like he's gonna clean that way down. He's gonna play it safe. That will give some time for people to get the response up. And that's time for Killa to work off this axe. Once this new man, this fight's just get even messier. It's gonna be a hell lot easier for Killa to just doom himself and try to catch out that Tusk, catch up the axe, get that multiple hero control immediately out of his team, get the follow through from there. See, they're finding some good moments, Mike, but again, this game just doesn't, it doesn't simplify any further from Steve. It just gets more complicated as it goes on. You've got to keep forcing these awkward angles up from Pope. And just juke them around. You know, just keep dodging. I play with his blink. Adam has been really good dodging out with the man. He's got a team that's so awesome. His optimization this drill, while it is still an itemization, still such a, it's tower. allowing him to tower. make such a kind of team fight he can from the stick. He just can't catch the drill. He can't join the team fight without knowing where the drill is. It's just a horror. But well, now Swift blinks up, so you have even more damage come down by if he finds the opportunity. Even harder to catch him as well. Radiant see what happened. The stick's still grouped up, looking towards that top side of the map. They'll occupy the dire jungle. Oakham showed the mid lane. This killer shows the earth. Dire structures are the top lane, you do have Aaron around to try and defend here on the earth spirit, but it is only him and him alone. Really, the, the kind of hero you'd expect to defend, but they're going to bring more in. DP's are coming. But he's got the uh, hero to move away. Dyer's top tower has been His team are around, though. Put themselves on the spree wave. He's going to move him from the point, but no, they've caught up the trail. Nice call, though. Is that from Emily? Holding them. But it isn't long enough. That's the thing it is. There's your crown out from last turn. He'll hold the ball down with the little shoulder to follow up. It is way too much damage. Oh, oh, and a very, very awkward kind of fight now for the team. They will try to run, go the full land. They're going to lose zone as well. It was one condition. The one condition was do not let the drift get caught. He's been so good this whole game. But one bad team fight like that, they're left without buyback. You might go high ground as poop. Definitely. Radiant's buybacks are only buying it. Buyback. Not going to be enough to hold off this match. It might be worth the time. The issue for Pork is next turn is still a minute away until you see that respawn. Has fallen. With your snap Radiance fire the way it is, with your output on your void as well, it doesn't take you off the siege here. You have double speed creeps as well. They should at least find themselves a Rax for their trouble. Big O and coming out from Pork. Just kind of jumps on. Like they see this Paul come out. And he just tries to help out this time. He doesn't respect that this Radiance sin middle. gets doomed up. And that's the end of that. I won't go for T4 Towers, but they're not feeling that confident. And they are 29k Dyer's heads of each pick, but recent toughness aren't the leaders. At least not for the drow. Maybe so more the uh, JF. But he may as well just go get bigger items. There's no need to rush this game. Still two other towers to take as well if you more items incoming, plus the Akron Scepter on Killing you talked about earlier, that's on the way here in the Courier. There's a lot of about with this file, like, you try to get caught out for more than 10 minutes to jump in. in. You get to him, and you just can't do anything at all. Well, it was part of it, he kind of just ran back to try and help the enemies, but you're doomed, so... What are you gonna think? That's about all you can Yeah. It, it's just really messy in that soft lane. Radiance bottom and they maybe just feel calm. Yeah, that's a field in front of the curve, you know, Radiance come to protect the axe bottom in front, but they've got a lot of jump on the side of the book. You've got a good reason that. Jump that back up and get the game. And this is where the game is just very, very difficult. It's just finding this angle back in with the kinds of spells up, with this kind of lead tree to 2k up, really even farm distribution as well across every core. You don't have that same scaling coming out in Steve. It's just not there. Maybe this, maybe an Ag's timing for his own changes the story just a little bit, but he's pretty good running for that person. He's just running for the overwhelming blame on his own as well. Oh, oh, Steve. 
and those big, big atheists, big one trying to fight underneath that vision. The shadow will be up, but they have sentries in place for this. Okay, around the top right now. Even Aaron now with the wind will from this earth for detrimental to any kind of team fight. Spoke up again, poke. Tapping around to that mid lane. They want to get into that red lane triangle if they can and have the high ground advantage. In fact, killer. Thinking about just going straight in here on the doom. He's got it with the vision. He's fine edge. So it'll be the target of team. And then for me, while they're meant to jump in on the axe, there's the side to the help. Can't hit the wind wake up. Oh, and now, while the axe is completely controlled up. We'll go after Ray instead on the undying. Ray is completely melting and doesn't put down. Meanwhile, Doom is there on the actual doom, but he's got his own doom off. So it's a double doom on the doom. A triple doom, in fact, as they stop the task. This is a real callback team, but the mistake is to call with their pants down. Radiance of Mickey is fucking us all. Big QQ. This should be a time back and it will be. And that might be it. Beautiful towers should be the target of Pope. And that, that it will be. They played this one perfectly here, John. Double up playing into the mountain. This shot of it. I mean, he's alive. There's no way he defends the boss by myself. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance Middle Tower is all the And just like what we said, like, this game was not going to get any easier to speak down as time went on. Looking all right, they were finding some kills on the kill up. It's not really awkward, really rotation out from <laughs> onto mid at like lives. It's Cleaver Talk!